Hello and welcome to this new tutorial for the Moose Framework series for DCS World. In this tutorial we are going to explore some new concepts that are currently being developed for the framework of release 2.1 and that is around designation. A new class is currently being developed and the new class is called designate which is a finite state machine. The designate class will be found in the functional area of the Moose framework. The designate class is detecting targets at a defined interval and once targets have been detected these targets can be lased, smoked, illuminated. The lasing, smoking and illumination will be controlled by reconnaissance vehicles which are around the targets and who are executing the detection. The designate is a process which is involving multiple reconnaissance vehicles and a status report can be inquired or can be displayed uh, what these reconnaissance vehicles are doing. On the flight control master github.io master documentation side of Moose. In the module section you will find the designation or the designate class explained. So click on globals, go to designate and here you find an extensive explanation of the class. Many capabilities are there that I'm going to explain further within this presentation. What is designation really? Well, Designation is detection as a first step. Each detection class will group the detected targets in different ways. The detection units class will group the detected targets done by the RECIS in each uh, per unit. So basically there is no grouping. So multiple target sets will be created per unit that has been detected. This is the simplest detection grouping method that's available within the Moose framework. A bit more complicated or advanced it gets when you have a detection class called detection types that is grouping the detected targets per type. So once the same type has been detected within a group, these requis will group the detected targets per type. So you have here a target set 1, target set 2, containing two detected targets, target set 3 and 4. The most advanced detected grouping mechanism is the detection areas class. And the detection areas class will detect the targets uh, based on an area that is a range around the targets. So in this example, two targets are being detected. Note to report where it says the latitude longitude is given a threat level in this case maximum of two and it gives a little bit more explanation what unit types are within that uh, area that has been detected detection can be used to mark targets and the first possibility to mark targets is mark them by laser so as the picture shows, the reconnaissance vehicles that are detecting targets can be ordered to start marking each individually a target from the target sets that have been selected to be marking targets. In another way, I could say, a reconnaissance uh, can mark targets if they have it received the order to mark the targets in a certain target set. In this example, the reconnaissance vehicles have been ordered to lace the targets in target set 1 and target set 2. Each reconnaissance vehicle can only mark one target. So the designate uh, class will try to use as much as possible each reconnaissance vehicle within the Reki set 1 and Reki set 2.
When the target gets destroyed, then the reconnaissance will change the target automatically. So watch the animation. Reconnaissance vehicle B was lasing this target, but it got destroyed. So it will automatically switch target, one that was not yet lased. When switching targets, it will report the destruction of the target and it will report the new target that is being laced. As I said, certain target sets can be laced specifically. In this example, I am only ordering target set 1 to be laced and to keep target set 2 idle. In this example, those reconnaissance vehicles that can lace those targets in there will start doing so. Once all the targets have been destroyed of a target set, then that target set will be removed from the designation scope. Only target set 2 here is uh, kept within the designation scope. And the target set 2 can then be selected to lace the remaining target set. All of this can be done through the menu. Laser codes. Lasing is done by uh, attaching a laser code to a laser. Laser codes have a specific uh, mechanism to be defined and certain uh, planes can only use certain laser code. For example, the SU-25T is only capable to use the laser code 1113. So it is important that the mission designer is able to define certain laser codes for certain uh, planes or vehicles. The method set laser codes allows to specify the laser codes that are possible to be used. This is important when you have multiple designation objects designating multiple different target sets with different reconnaissance vehicles. And then you want to say, for example, you know, this set of laser codes is for designation object one, and that set of laser codes is for designation uh, object two. That's important because otherwise pilots would get confused. Where are all these lasers coming from? A laser code uh, or a laser can be activated for a certain duration. In this example, it's set to 60 seconds and 120 seconds and the player can select how long a laser should be activated for a reconnaissance or for a target set uh, designation. This is a very important one. Uh, depending on the type of target that has been designated, certain targets have a higher priority to be laced than others. In this example, SAM has the highest priority because it's it uh, you know exposes the largest danger to air to gr to pilots within air to ground combat scenario the method set threat level prioritization can be used to activate this threat level prioritization another capability that is uh, possible to do in the designate uh, class is to mark targets by smoke. When you act, when you open your designation menu, you'll see these smoke red, blue, green, white, orange. Well, you are able to smoke target sets uh, by using one of these options. Not all of the targets will be smoked, but the area around the targets will be smoked within a defined parameter and that models the inaccuracy of reconnaissance vehicles smoking targets because they'll have to fire the smoke bomb towards that target. Another way to mark targets is through illumination. In this way uh, the 
area around the target will be illuminated and it becomes pretty handy during the night. The illumination bomb will not burn permanently but will burn um, as long and as high the illumination bomb was fired from. A status report can be shown. This is an example of a status report in a detected area, detection area scenario. You see the latitude, longitude co coordinates of the threat, the threat level, in this case the highest threat level is 8 because there is a SAM in there that is re pretty dangerous for air to ground or for pilots. And then the second part of the status report provides which items are currently laced or are currently marked by which reconnaissance vehicle. So reconnaissance vehicle Alpha is marking Ozan Baba Ba with laser code 1131, which then, then can be used by the A10C pilots to configure their laser codes and then start attacking those targets. You can activate the status menu by selecting the F2 option status and then you can flash the status on and off meaning that when a detection happens the status report will be automatically shown or you can just display immediately the status report by selecting F1. There is an, a method available that allows you to activate the flashing of the status report automatically when a detection has been done. Another option that is important to mention is the auto lace. The auto lace will automatically start lacing the targets when the reconnaissance vehicles detect those targets. So there is no requirement then to start selecting the specific set of targets that need to be laced or need to be designated. Let's go through an example of what this is all about. This is the demonstration uh, mission that I'm going to explain, but I'm going to do this in a sequent video, not to uh, have to redo the explanation video when something changes. Please browse to the next video.